Hi, in this video, I'm looking at calculating the area of a sector where the angle that's in it is using radians. So a sector is if I've got a circle and the radius of that circle and I rotate through some sort of an angle, whatever that angle is, and that gives me this area here that I want to know what that space fills up what's the 2d area that fills up that part of the circle now if we think about the area of a sector which we've known in degrees which is that we have the area of the full circle multiplied by the fraction of the circle we have the angle we've got over 360 degrees but now if we switch into radians we can do the same thing. I can have the fraction of my circle times by the full area where my denominator is two pi because I've got two pi to radians in an entire circle. Now with this, we can see that the pi's cancel out and I'm just left with my angle over two times the radius squared. Another way we can read, write this, which is quite common, is a half of the radius squared times the angle of the sector. And that's it. That's how we calculate the area of a sector where our angles in radians. So if we look at where I've got, let's just have a sector, not a full circle. So I've got this sector and it's got a radius of say 10 centimeters and it's an angle of pi over six. So to do this, we can write that our area is half of our radius squared times our angle. And so we're gonna have a half times by 10 squared times by pi over six. And so if we work this out, well, 10 squared is 100, half of 100 is 50. And we've got this over 6 here, which is, involves a 2. So we've got 25 pi over 3 centimeters squared. And that's all we need to do. Let's have a look at a slightly more complicated problem. What if I've got a circle and we've gone and rotated through an unknown angle? So I've got this unknown angle here that we've rotated through. The radius of my circle is 10 centimeters, but we're also told that the sector generated was 15 centimeters. So if we had that diagram, I know that information, and I wanna know what's the area of this sector here. So I don't know the angle, but I know the arc length, and I know the radius. Well, we can use our arc length formula. We know the arc length is the radius times by the angle. And so the fact that we know our arc length is 15, our radius is 10, and we don't know our angle, we can have that our angle is 15 over 10, or three over two radians, or one and a half radians. And so we now have our angle, and so we can go to our area rule, which is a half times that radius squared times our angle. And so we've got a half times our radius of 10 squared times our angle of three over two. And so working this out, 100, uh, 10 squared is 100, half of that is 50, half again is 25 times three is 75 centimeters squared and there's our area. Let's just have a look at one last quick problem. What if we have, I'll do it over here, got some free space over here. What if we have a circle or a sector even, and we know that the angle in here is two pi over five, and I know the area of this sector is 33 pi over four meters squared. I wanna know what was the radius? How could I work out the radius? Well, if we go to our area equals a half of the radius squared 
times the angle. Then put in my information. We know that our area is 33 pi over four, and that's going to be equal to a half times our unknown radius times by our angle, which is two pi over five. And so looking at this, uh, we can do some simplifying. My half cancels out with the two, and our pi is gonna cancel out on both sides. So now I'm left with 33 over four is equal to our radius squared over five. And so that means that if I multiply both sides by five, I'm gonna get, well, five times three, 33 is 165. So I've got 165, sorry, over four equals our radius squared. And square rooting that, we'll get a radius of 6.4 two meters and there we are done so we can answer all sorts of questions but it mainly comes down to if we need the area of a sector or something to do with the area of the sector and our angle is in radians then we can just use a half times the radius squared times the angle